How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some Brawlhalla for you guys today. As always, today we are going to take a look at all the Halloween skins that have been released in Brawlhalla so far. Now I know there's a couple new Halloween skins coming out in just a few days, but and I will do videos on those skins. But I figured before that, we might as well play all the older Halloween skins so I can show them off to you guys. And not only that, but you can see I have the uh, Pumpkin Pyre Avatar. I got the Jack-O-Lantern KO effect. I'm using the Living Nightmare uh, Sidekick, just because it kind of goes with the Halloween theme. We can, well, there's actually quite a few that do. Um, and then I also have the Podium, the Toil and Trouble, although I think there's more than one. We also have Graveyard Shift. So I kind of like, uh, the, I like the Toil and Trouble one the best. So. There's actually a total of 12 Halloween skins already out before the new ones being added. So that's a lot of skins. So we're going to do Strikeout so I can pick three at a time. And that would still be four games, even if we get to see all three each game. So let's go ahead and start it out with the oldest Halloween skins and work our way to the newest ones. So the oldest one, I think, is Bewitching Scarlet. I could be wrong on the order of the release of the skins, but I'm pretty sure this is the order. Um, so we'll go Bewitching Scarlet, and then Horseman Lucian. This is actually one of uh, the most popular Lucian skins, I think. I see a lot of people using this one, even when it's not Halloween. <laughs> Very cool skin. And then uh, the Diana skin, of course. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it is in here. Demon Kin Diana. There we go. Um, and actually, we might as well use the Halloween colors as well. The haunting colors, just so we're doing the full theme. But yeah, there we go. If you want to see what the colors look like for these skins, uh, you can do that in training, I'm pretty sure. Especially once the Halloween event comes out, which, as I said, is... I think it's this Wednesday, so... I could be wrong on that. If you guys enjoy the video, please drop a like. It helps me out. And it uh, looks like our first match is against Trashcan543. <laughs> I'm gonna try to show off all three skins like every single match, so if it's looking like I'm gonna dominate, I'll just uh, KO myself. But first, we'll just play and see how it goes. This skin is really, really cool though. I like the broom that she's riding on, the broom uh, lance. Very cool. Woo! Ooh, she got us with that side stick. Like I said, if the, it's okay. All right, she KO'd us. We didn't actually get to see the hammer, so let me show you the hammer a little bit. All right, that's the hammer. I'm actually gonna KO myself so that we can go on to the next skin because I want to show all three skins every match. All right, so we have Horseman Lucian. This one is actually really cool in other colors as well. Like if you get uh, Skyforged or Goldforged, even black looks pretty cool. All right, let's try the guitars out. Now, none of these Halloween skins are technically considered an epic skin, so they're not like gonna have special signature graphics or anything like that, but you know, they look pretty cool anyways. Boom, woo! That down sig is just brutal. I do love playing as Lucian, but let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> bye bye Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the other skin. I love that KO effect too, the pumpkin one. I use that even when it's not Halloween sometimes. All right, we got Diana now. This is a really cool skin too. I like this skin a lot for the bow because it's just a huge looking uh, weapon. I don't know why, but it, it, you know. Ooh, there we go. When I have a huge bow, it just feels more powerful, you know? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh no! GG, dude, GG. That was a pretty good match. I think if we would have stayed on Scarlet, we may have been able to three suck, but that's not important. All I want to show is the skins. Winning or losing is not important so much. Alright, so those were the first three. Let's move it on. So the next one we have Pumpkin Spice Yumiko. This one is also so adorable. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorites. Um, and then we have, ooh, the Nash skin. Let's see. We got the monster Nash. Of course, Frankenstein Nash. 
This one's cool too because of the weapons, they look really nice. And then we have Immortal Caspian. Ooh. Let's see. I think I have. Yep, I should have all of these skins. Now, we did do Haunting Colors before, but I don't know. Maybe I should do something else. I kind of want to try Coat of Lions. There we go. Coat of Lions is new uh, this year, this battle pass, so we haven't actually been able to see what these Halloween skins look like in the new colors, you know what I mean? So we might as well show off what that looks like as well. All right, going against King Immortal 10K. He's using the Shin Sakai Boji, Koji, that's <laughs> a Boji. The Shin Sakai Koji bow. And uh, she's got charged OG colors, which are really cool. I feel like Azoth, like, he's just permanently a Halloween legend. Because <laughs> he's just a skeleton. Especially Azoth, Azoth. Man, in my uh, live stream yesterday, which was super fun, by the way. Thank you to everybody who came to the live stream. It was, it was a good stream, but somebody sh told me to equip the uh, Shades taunt on uh, Azoth, Azoth. And oh my gosh, it's so funny. He has literally three pairs of glasses on. Uh oh. No! He destroyed Yubiko! Feels bad. Okay, well, we didn't have to KO ourselves. This time, we got to go to the next legend for free. No, Nash! Not like this! Oh! Oh my goodness! What a recovery from Monster Nash. Let's go. Ooh, I like this hammer looking red like that, too. If you're not using these SIGs, then you're not using Nash right, you know what I mean? And I love the down SIG, especially. <laughs> you're not coming back. You're not coming back. Nope. Ugh. Okay, she came back. How about that? You're not coming back from that one. Woo, there we go. Finally, man. She hard to kill. Alright, that was Nash. I do love the spear. Boom! Okay, we'll, we'll KO so that we can see the final skin. And that is Immortal Caspian. Ooh, I do love using gauntlets and katars, both. Caspian has those. That's why he's such a good legend. Yup! Alright, let's check out the guitars. They actually look really good in these colors. That's kind of why I wanted to pick the uh, Code Alliance colors. Because they almost look like they're vampire colors, kind of. I don't know. They're like black, white, and red. GG, dude, GG. So, that was Pumpkin Spice Yumiko, the Monster Nash, and Immortal Caspian. Next three, we're moving right along. We have Werebat Ragnar. There's a lot of Halloween skins. Where are, we, where are we at? Where bat Ragnar? There we go. Kind of a freaky looking bat dragon hybrid. Very cool. Then we have, oh, Skelly Azuri. This one is so good. This is one of the best Halloween skins. This one right here. Love this one. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what your favorite Halloween skin is in Brawlhalla. And then we have Petra reanimated. Oh yeah. It's kind of like the monster Nash except Petra. Where is it? There we go. Ooh, we're not gonna go blue. Let's go. Ooh, that looks really cool in the coat of lions, not gonna lie. I think on this one, we'll go back to haunting colors though. Hmm. To be honest, the haunting colors don't look as good as coat of lions. Ooh, Gala. Let's try Gala. That looks super good. Oh, she almost looks more like a zombie like that, you know? All right, here we go. We're playing as albino bat Ragnar. <laughs> Nah, he's not albino, just gala colors. That kind of looks like it. Alright, here we go, going against Jake Maze. This is actually a really cool skin. I love the uh, the little Batwing Katars too. I imagine Batman fans really enjoy that. Speaking of Batman, uh, Rocket League has tons of Batman like event going on right now. <laughs> kind of weird, because Batman's not really a Halloween like superhero. He just happens to be <laughs> the Batman, which 
I guess bats are Halloween. Alright, let's try out the axe before we finish up here with Ragnar. I do kind of wish these, uh, like, holiday skins had epic version. Alright, I'm gonna KO myself so we can try the next. Like, I, I wish that they had epic, unique looking uh, signatures as well, you know what I mean? Kind of having a hard time even hitting us. Let's try out the sword. The sword is so cool too for this skin. It has a little skull on the hilt. Alright, go ahead and get the weapon. I know it feels bad when you can't even get the weapon. So I'll let you get that. And it ain't going to matter though because she is getting K- Oh! Alright, that was Skelly Azuri. She looks kind of kind of weird in the white colors. Like her eye sockets are just empty. It'd be nice if they had like the, the glowing color in the eye socket. All right, uh, Petra reanimated. This is the skin I, I picked these colors for because she looked really good in these colors, I think. Oh, final stocks. I should probably, uh, probably try here. Seeing as we're losing right now. Let's try the uh, orb out. Boom, I love hitting that neutral sig. Boom! GG dude, GG, well played. Alright guys, we only- Oh, he disconnected! Well, we only have- Oh wait. Yeah, we only have three skins left to show, so let's see. We have Dusk Till Dawn. These are the three newest ones, I think. Here we go, another vampire looking skin. Then we have Werewolf Thatch, which- uh, here we go. Werewolf Thatch. Kind of cool. Thatch has a lot of, like, different kind of animals going on. He's got the shark, goblin, he's got Poseidon, he's got human, and he's got werewolf, he's got zombie. Like, he's kind of very easy. We got Santa Claus. I mean, uh, Thatch is just, he's kind of crazy like that. Werewolf Thatch. And then last, but not least, Corpse Bride Barrage. There we go. And on this one, I think we will do... Should I do Charged OG? Why not? Looks kind of crazy. Let's do it. Charged OG is kind of like a Halloween color in a way. Alright guys, last match. So, now that you've seen every skin, which one is your favorite? I know I already asked, but I should have just waited to ask until you've seen them all. But now that you've seen them all, which is your favorite? Let me know. Alright, here we go. Dusk till dawn. Kind of got like a orb that looks like a wolf face or something. Man, this stage looks so good too. This is my Hollow Knight uh, map pack, or not mine, but I downloaded it. It looks so good. All right, we're playing in the death pit if that's what she wants. I'm having a hard time even touching her though, so maybe let's not. <laughs> if it's not working, maybe just change up what you're doing. I do like fighting in that death pit though, but with the orb, it's kind of hard. Oh no, she wants to KO us. Oh my goodness, that was close. Dang, she's pretty good. This might be the best uh, opponent we've faced yet. Oh, I almost got her with that neutral sig. Oh, back in the death pit. I don't know if I want to fight gauntlets down here. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. Oh, got her with the down sig, let's go. There it is. Man, she was like doing really good on us the whole game, the whole fight. And then uh, we, we brought it back though. I got the first stock anyways. I really do like these uh, charged OG colors I'm using as well. Oh yeah, I gotta KO myself. All right, there we go, forgot. All right, Werewolf Thatch. Very cool, he's got his tongue hanging out and everything. That's your mind, I don't want anything to do with that. Bombs away! This skin actually reminds me of Dog Days Mordex a little bit. They both have their tongues hanging out and they're both like dogs. Although I guess a werewolf is a little bit different than a dog, but you get what I'm saying. I rarely ever play Thatch, so like, all I really ever wanna do is throw out cannonballs. 
<laughs> if you know what I mean. The cannonballs are just so fun. Even if I don't hit, they're still fun to use. Come on, Mirage, you gotta come at me to win! You, oh, oh, oh. She's playing a bit defensive, like she hardly ever wants to engage. Oh. What are you doing with that mine, Mirage? Oh, almost hit her into that. I don't even have a weapon. All right, we got the sword. Looks pretty good, too. Ah! <laughs> All I had to do was just wait and do a sword neutral light. All right, final socks. Let's see. We got, oh yeah, Corpse Bride Mirage. Versus Zario. I don't think I've ever seen anybody using this skin, Corpse Bride Mirage. It's definitely not the most attractive looking skin. Maybe that's why <laughs> she literally looks like a corpse. <laughs> Alright, we did a bit of damage with the scythe. I kind of want to switch to the spear. Just to show you guys what it looks like. Spear doesn't look that special or anything, but still, just want to show you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm surprised that did not hit me, to be honest. It probably would have killed me, too. That was a good down sig. I got lucky that didn't hit. Bro, you run away so much! Stop running away! It's not as fun, but I have to chase you around all the time. <laughs> GG, dude. GG, I guess. Alright guys, that was every Brawlhalla Halloween skin so far. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. Honestly, there's a lot of uh, skins in here that I think would qualify as Halloween skins. Um, I do want to do the uh, Mexican holiday, uh, the Mexican Day of the Dead skins as well. I might do that for a different video, but this is the uh, this skin. If you do the deal with it taunt on Azot Azob, it is just really funny. Anyways, <laughs> this is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.